An Australian toddler has become the youngest in the world to take part in a unique trial to prevent type 1 diabetes. Her own umbilical cord, frozen from birth, is being used to help stop the disease. More from Gabriella Rogers. 20-month-old Lucy Hinchin doesn't know it, but she's likely to develop type 1 diabetes, a disease her older sister Ava was diagnosed with more than three years ago. No history of type 1 diabetes. Ava was perfectly healthy, happy, normal, and then just started wetting the bed, excessively thirsty, all the other markers that come with this. Blood tests confirm little Lucy was also at risk. She was found to have these positive markers and once those markers appear, really the data says you will get type 1 eventually. Lucy is fast asleep while receiving cord blood which could hold the key to prevention. I think she's going to be very brave. The transfusion takes only 20 minutes, but it's the contents that makes this trial truly unique. The blood is from Lucy's own umbilical cord frozen at birth. It was initially stored for her sister as an insurance policy. It's a, a no-brainer to try to stop it on its tracks for Lucy. Blood from the umbilical cord is rich in regulatory T cells, vital for keeping the immune system in check. It's hoped the blood can help switch off the early signs of diabetes. The aim of giving this cord blood is to give a significant dose of these regulatory T cells, but cord blood also contains stem cells. Australia has one of the highest rates of type 1 diabetes in the world, with about 2,000 new cases each year. Preventing or delaying the onset would be a significant development. That's certainly this family's big hope. Some people will stop getting diabetes and eventually there will be a way to cure it. This is literally coming to the hospital, get it done, go home and move on with your life. And if this works mm -hmm. in the future for this, I know that this is massive. It's a game changer for a lot of us out there. The Kids Research Institute is looking to screen up to a thousand children for the pilot study. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.